So you want to connect your Xbox One controller with your PC. Let's see three ways to do that. Well actually let's see four ways to do that because the first method can be done in two ways. So let's get into it. Depending on your system and controller, you can either connect using one, two or even all three ways. Now what do I mean by the system and controller? Well do you have a laptop or desktop? Is your PC Bluetooth enabled? Also the controller. Do you have the generation 1 controller or the second generation controller? The first generation does not have the Bluetooth functionality but the second generation does. The first generation controller came with Xbox One and the plastic next to the Xbox button is different from the rest of the controller. The generation 2 controllers come with Xbox One S and have the whole plastic in the same color most likely. Alright, the first method is connecting with your PC wirelessly. For this to work, you'll need a Bluetooth enabled desktop or laptop and a second generation Xbox controller. The simplest way to connect is to turn it on by pressing this Xbox button for a couple of seconds. You'll see the lights flashing. If you don't, check your batteries. <laughs> now, if your device's Bluetooth is turned on, the PC will automatically pick it up and display a notification. Click on this notification and then click on the pair button. There you go, it's connected. When it's connected, the Xbox light will stay still. Let's test it, shall we? Yep, it's working. Alright, if you want to manually connect with your PC, then go to the start bar and go to settings. You can also search for Bluetooth in the search bar and open the Bluetooth settings. On this page, we'll click on add a device. Press the Xbox button to turn it on. Next, press and hold this sync button and the Xbox logo light will start flashing quickly. Next, choose the first option called Bluetooth in your PC. The Bluetooth window will either show controller or input here. You'll also see the controller icon here. Once connected, the light of the controller will stay. We can play the same game to test it. Great. The second method is using a Wi-Fi adapter. The adapter looks like this and it has a button on the back. All you need to do is plug in this adapter in your PC and turn the controller on. Next, we'll press and hold the back button for about 2 seconds. Release the button and you'll see the light flashing. Now press and hold the sync button on the controller for a couple of seconds. The logo light will start to flash rapidly. In a few seconds, the controller will connect to the PC using the adapter. Shall we try it? Yep, it's working fine. The last method is using a micro SD USB cable. The cable is common because most earlier Android devices had this cable. All you need to do is plug in this cable in the computer's USB port and other side to the controller's micro SD port, which is in the front. And that's it. The system will connect with the controller and the light will stop flashing. Let's give it a go. And yes, it's working fine. Now sometimes the system will show a message driver error. This happens because of the driver issue, of course. In this case, if you have a battery powered controller, remove the batteries, remove the controller from the PC and restart your PC and then connect using the preferred method. You can also go to the device manager and under human interface device, find the device name X input and right click and update it. See if that fixes the issue. Anyway, this was a video on how to connect your Xbox One controller with the PC. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Until then, take care, keep playing and keep it real.